What is mortgage planning and how does that fit into your wealth team that you're going to design? Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Jeff Trevarthen. I am Jeff the Mortgage Pro. I really appreciate you watching these videos. If you could do me a huge favor and like the video down below. And if you don't like it, just double click the downward uh, thumb button on there. And then if you could also subscribe to my channel, I'd love to get this information out to as many viewers as we possibly can. Well, let's jump right into it today. So today what we're doing is we're looking at mortgage planning. And this is a way that I feel like I separate myself from the majority of mortgage people out there. There is so much information about mortgages uh, from top to bottom, anywhere you look on the internet, you know, everything is driven by rate, it seems to me. And in reality, the wrong, the right rate with the wrong strategy could really cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life of your loan or the life of that transaction. And so the role of a mortgage planner is to help you manage that liability over time. So let me go through some of the things that we do uh, as mortgage planners or mortgage advisors to help you ensure that you are in the proper mortgage at all times. So in a nutshell, I would say that mortgage planning is both an art and a science whereby we customize that mortgage options that fit your short term and long time financial goals. We begin with like a holistic analysis of your entire financial life, learning about your short term and long term financial goals, any financial plans that you already have in existence, your risk tolerance, which is important, and your current perceptions about money and finance. And then what we're going to do is we're going to review your budget and your cash flow and your current financial plan and any financial instruments that you already own. Everybody's in a different spot in their financial lives. So we want to make sure that you are properly equipped with the right information or we're equipped with the right information and you're equipped with the right mortgage because of that. And then we want to make recommendations about how your mortgage should be structured to ensure that you receive the mortgage that's right for you. And some of the things that we're going to be looking at are optimizing your cash flow determining your freedom point and what's the best way to get there, maximizing your growth and your net worth over time, and then minimizing the interest that you pay over time as well. And then lastly, I think this is the most important step that most mortgage originators or mortgage loan officers miss is that they don't follow up with you because I feel if I'm going to put you in a <laughs> the largest debt that you'll ever have in your life, most likely, I feel it's my fiduciary duty to help you manage that debt and help you get out of that debt over time. So you'll get periodic check-ins from us. One of the things that we like to do is an annual mortgage review. And what we're going to do with that annual mortgage review is to determine, is your mortgage performing correctly for the current mortgage environment? So we've had really low interest rates over the last couple of years, mortgage rates have gone up, but going forward, do you have different needs that may be worthwhile for us to restructure your mortgage for you and want to make sure that we have the option to do that. And the only way that we have any idea is to make sure that we are checking in with you periodically and we want to help you manage that debt over time. Okay. So that's, that's mortgage planning in a nutshell. Let's talk a little bit about your wealth team and who is on your wealth team and why you would want a wealth team. So a wealth team is the people or the professionals that kind of complement all the different services that we provide as mortgage planners, but also they can provide uh, value for you in different financial or accounting type uh, assets that you may own or want to own in the future to grow your wealth over time. So the first one that you're going to need is a CPA. That's a the person on your wealth team that's going to help you manage your taxes, um, help you pay as little as you possibly can while maximizing the income that you have from your jobs, your properties, your investments, and all the different places where you're going to, you're going to generate income. The second person that we want on there is a financial advisor. This is a person that is going to help you with your paper assets. They may be able to help you with life insurance in some instances, but when you have money, their job is to help you grow that money over time. And most of the good ones, they only get paid a percentage of the assets that they manage. So it's in their best interest to help you grow those assets over time so that they get paid more. And the good ones manage a lot of money and uh, they're hard to find, but you know, luckily enough, we've networked very well here at Jeff the Mortgage Pro to have lots of recommendations for you in terms of financial advisors. 
a life insurance agent is another person you would like to have on your wealth team. These are people that are going to get you life insurance because in case you die, we want to make sure that your family is protected uh, with a large amount of money so that they don't have to try to come up with money and make mortgage payments in a time of of need and distress. So life insurance is a good hedge against having a mortgage. So we'll set you up with a life insurance agent, um, an insurance agent as well, that can also help you with uh, managing the insurance that you have on your properties, which will help get, protect against liabilities. And then we wanna have a will and trust attorney and similar to the life insurance agent, a will and a trust, make sure that we don't go into probate after you or your family passes away because when you go in the pro probate process, the state determines how your assets are divided. And we want to make sure that you have a say in how those assets are divided up after, after you move on. And then the other two people that you have are a real estate agent, which I think is a, is a given. It's super important, in my opinion, to be able to use a real estate agent to help you buy and sell property. Uh, you're going to be buying a primary residence. Hopefully the second one you buy is a second home. And then eventually we would like to have some investment properties to help generate some passive income for you. And a real estate agent is going to be somebody that's going to help you negotiate all that stuff. It's going to help you with cash flow and determining what's a good rental and what's a not good rental. So a real estate person is the next person on your wealth team. And then lastly uh, is the mortgage planner or the mortgage advisor. That's us. So we want to help fit into that. <clears throat> and as you can see, all of those different types of professionals can help you out and uh, help you create wealth over time. And it's super important that they're all on your team. Thanks so much for watching today. Looking forward to seeing you again next time. Have a good one. Bye.